Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. So for this craft in episode, I thought I would do a quick how to just a basic show and tell of how I created this this felt banner that you see behind me. A few of you guys were asking about it in some of my previous videos. So I thought I would just do a quick um, overview. It's actually very simple. Um, I tend to be drawn to projects that are simple, cute. I, I, you know, you'll hear me say those words often, simple and cute. And of course, practical, something that multiple people of any skill level can accomplish. It's kind of my approach to anything, whether it's sewing or cake making, I, I want it to be, have that simple form to it. So this is really, really simple. So here, let me walk you through it. Basically what you're gonna need is um, some sheets of felt. And so I just picked up some colors that I liked at your local craft store. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. And so um, very simple, I went with more kiwi colors. Um, this isn't quite like a cranberry, it's more hot pink, but it's what they had. I do know that if you buy felt from, oh, I'm just totally spacing it, but like online stores, like if you Google like some of the more customized felt shops, um, they have more customized colors and I really love that. Like the green that was there, it was very like a staple green, not this apple green that I like. So in this case, I did this one out of paper. So you can also create them using your paper stash. Um, so I'll show you kind of the process of it and then you can decide what uh, material you think is best for you. And I always like to add a little white, just especially if you're doing really, really colorful. Um, in this case, on this wall, it doesn't show as much as my other wall did, but I do think that the texture really helps and it tones down the other colorfulness of it as well. So think of neutral with brights or whatever look that you're working for. And I think this banner is really fun for birthday events. You can have one that you put up or in my case, I feel like it just adds a really crafty feel to my room and that's what I was looking for. And of course it was a DIY and I was like, oh, that will be pretty inexpensive. So they are pretty inexpensive. Sheets, felt sheets aren't that expensive at all. It does take a little bit of time, but again, very simple. So what I did is I just cut out some pieces of fabrics in different shapes. So the three different shapes that I did, here, let me turn here a little. I did a little point arrow. So all I did on that one is I cut my strips first. So I took my sheet and I cut um, probably about an inch strips. So once I had my inch strips cut out, let me go ahead and trim that up. I just cut from the center out and this case, right? So you did a little point and then you do the next one. And once you start, it just leads to the next one. So here's one. And I wasn't looking for like every one of them to be exact. I was looking more for that hand feel, simple look. And I think that it works for this banner. Um, sometimes I like things to be more specific, but for this project, I really feel like you don't need to. So you would just keep cutting those. So step one, you have to cut them out, put some music on or something and just cut a few of them out. <laughs> just um, In this case, I did one full sheet and Again, you're gonna probably cut about, oh, a little bit, probably over an inch. Let me measure that really quickly um, in this case. Yeah, it was like an inch and a fourth strips. And so out of one sheet, you could definitely get, um, you know, about eight, eight strips out of this. So like I said, I just did that for this orange one. Then at that point, you will need to pull out your sewing machine. And all I did is thread them through, well, fed them through my, my sewing machine. And I sewed them all together in that case too. Let me show you the other designs before I get too deep into that. So um, besides the, the arrow, one that I did here, I was thinking of other shapes that I could do. You could do a basic triangle. So like in this case, just cut some triangles out and that's pretty simple too. 
nothing curly fancy. I did a diamond here. So those are diamonds. And then on these ones, these are just strips of all different, you know, sizes. Like you can see this one shorter than this one, this one shorter than that one. So in that case, they're probably about an inch wide. And then I just trimmed them down to a little like two and a half inches. This one's about three, this is two inches. So I just started to kind of cut out the felt into different strip sizes. And then once I had all of those cut out, I, like I mentioned, I just um, took the sewing machine, basic thread, and I fed them through the machine to attach them. So you can see like in this case, you see the string just a little bit between each of those attachments. So really, really simple. Same thing with all of these. So on the strips here, so on those ones, um, I did have to sew them here at the top because I wanted them to, you know, hang down. So um, on the other ones, I sewn them through the middle, but if you like the strips design and you could do a few little loops or however you want to go across something, those are really, really fun and super fun in different colors. But then like on the diamond one, I sewed right through the middle of that design. And with the arrow one, I sewed right through the design of that one. Now, as far as the paper goes, same process, <laughs> nothing really unique about it, except for the, the paper um, was the, the medium that I was using. I wasn't using felt in this case. So I used my um, circle punch and I just punched 12 by 12 sheet of paper, as many circles as I could get out of it. And then I thread that through my sewing machine as well with the paper. So both of them seem to work out just fine in that case. And um, I would recommend that you use either cardstock or double-sided paper that you like because, you know, it will twist and stuff. So you want it to not necessarily be white on the background. You want it to be either cardstock or double-sided paper that you like. And then, um, yeah, that's it. And then you can hang it up and you can pull it out for different occasions. You can add more layers to it as you go along. If you need one that's maybe more for New Year's, you know, you could do gold and black and white or something like that. And then you can build off of that. If you wanted to maybe do one for Christmas, you could pull in another layer of red and green with your gold and white. So I think there's a lot of fun ways that you can use this to make it multi-purpose useful if you're looking for a fun project to do. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to ask in the community and keep playing, keep creating, and keep connecting. We'll talk soon. Bye guys.